There are white people everywhere, your majesties. There are white people everywhere. That's what I noticed. And they, they don't even feel any remorse when they are in these sleep dungeons. We had about two with us. I think I saw about three at the sleep castle that day. And as the video progresses, you're going to see that these slave castles or slave dungeons have churches beside them. So that's why I keep saying that religion came hand in hand with slavery. There's no difference. They just came together. Okay. And the question that keep running in my mind is, why are these white people all over the slave castles? Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a new dungeon now from the entrance to what we are standing now. To the last British built it for a thousand captives. Thousand and two with the rats. They divided the dungeons into five. This is one. Two hundred men with his horses, two hundred. There was no light. That is why I switch off the light so that you can have a feel of the original darkness. So this three holes look when they are only sort of light in air for those they can see. He cuts them two weeks to bring it. So some got blind, some became blind. Look at the floor, you can see the bridge. This is what I was talking about. It's the original bridge. The Africans were not given toilet facility or urinal or chair to sit on. So black people were compared to go to toilet here. They will relate to that issue. And they stay here three months because of the ships. These trenches were built as their urinal, so that when you relate, it will pass through into the sea. It was also built such that whenever it rained, water can enter from the windows and clean the drain. And it rained this morning, that's why we have rapid rainwater running through this rainwater place. And it reached a time that some Africans started fighting British people here because they were suffering. They wanted freedom. Those ones, British identified them and brought them from the other dungeons to where we are standing now. So they created a door here. There was a door here before. So they called this dungeons a strong room. So the British were not trying to claim the solid waste. So the waste started piling. The waste started from one level to the other to the other. It reached a particular time that this bricks was completely covered with human waste. Which came out daylights. So I want to show you that one. My sister in the back, my brother here. I told you, and this will just come this come to the side. Why? So it comes to the side. No, the father will stay there. Yes, just come in. My sister, come a bit. And my brother, he come a bit. This will come to the side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excavation here for the founders' bricks. That was when they were in 74. These ones are archaeological labels. So many of them have died. They so died when thrown into the sea. They were not buried. They eat once in a day, sometimes twice, something small, just to keep them alive. So they clear all the waste at that time, but they left a portion. That one is how we have fancy. Yes, my brother, thank you. You know the, the room. Please get closer a bit. Look inside this fence. You can get closer. There's something here like a square. Don't block the lights. See, there's something, there's something here like a square. Which is not the same like the dirty bricks. This is solidified African 
with this kind of flow slack. This was tested and it proved that it had toilet, urine, sweat, and other things. So this is from ancestors. But because it's been a long time, now this has changed like an ordinary soil. So we are done with the first one. Let's move to second and third. So the first one was designed for 200 people. Second one, 200. This is 200. This is 200 times 5,000. Holes like this in the dungeons means windows in a loading lease. This one, the bigger one here, serves as a window, but at the same time, it was a spy hole, spying on the white people. But when we are standing now, on top of this dungeon, British built a church. They said they were Christians. So this was the dynamic of religion, Christianity. The church was an Anglican church. It was first called SPG, Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. That changed into Anglican church in this country, Ghana. So the British were up preaching Bible. They would shout hallelujah. Mm. And our ancestors were here suffering in a smelling dungeon and they didn't see anything wrong with that. British people. That's Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last one. Which was let's, let's examine this floor. Please look at the floor. Can you see bricks? No. So what do you think this one is? Mm. Waste. Waste. Mm. Thank you, my brother. This is solidified waste. The original floor is made of bricks like the first bench. They only excavated that room. The floor has not been touched. So this is original. And out of the thousand black people kept all together. By the time they were ready to go with them and not die because of the treatment given to them. Those who survived, that was not the end of their journey. The British would bring up a dungeon, they chained them. They got when they got here. Those days there was a hole at the back of this white cloth. The British called that one a tunnel. So they marched our sister through the tunnel on the ground, all the way to the door of the return. That was the end. They never get the chance to come back again. By the time it was blocked when the trade stopped, that was done to signify the end of the trade. But when we go outside, we shall see part of the hole. But it, it is close. When they bring Africa from the darkness to where we are gathered now, if they stay here for about a month, some of them were actually sick and weak. So they reached the sick ones. Those ones were selected sent to that small room to go and wait temporarily. You have to allow those who are strong to go through the tunnel for ships. That was why British created this window. Because those days there was no light. This was created for them to see the sick. And was not sick. So what we are standing now was called selection room. So whenever the stronger ones live, the sick ones were brought from there. It kept them back in but Eventually, all of them died because they were not really giving any kind of attention. What we see is a shrine. But the shrine wasn't here. You must know that before Europeans came to Africa with Christianity and Islamic religion that was brought by the Arabs, Africa is our religion. Our people pray to God through smaller gods. They offer libation through their ancestors to the Almighty God. Before the British built the structure in 1665. <laughs> Simply a court, colonial court. That's after slip trip for 400 years. We went through colonialism for 113 years. Then the capital of this country was Kibbutz. We moved to Accra, 1877, March. We were the first British court in Kibbutz. How many are coming from America? Philadelphia and moved to 
moved to Washington, D.C. Do you know this? Sure. I didn't know that. Oh, your former captain was in New York. Moved to Philadelphia, then moved to Washington, D.C. I want to ask you a question. Can you, can you answer me? I want to ask you one simple question. The question is this. Which year was the captain moved from Philadelphia to Washington, D.C.? Do you know about that? 1700. You too? You It was moved to the sea. 1800. 1800. That's important. First. So they will communicate to the soldiers in the castle through this school by raising of the flag. They could flash a mirror in the night. There is light. Cheap African labor. They kept about 1,300 Africans at a given time. Men were always 1,000 against 300. They stayed two weeks minimum, maximum three months in the dungeons, all because of 
availability of ships. This trade ended in 1860, building the structure as a colonial administrative center. Now, Cape Coast Castle is the youngest castle in this country. Because Elmina, the oldest one, the one that to sue is the second oldest, is the last one. The sue are one by the Danish. This one is now a UNESCO heritage site, founded in 1979. As we told the Daniel this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it ought to be in the everlasting memory of the sufferings of our ancestors. We pray that the who died here should rest in perfect peace. And the Sioux love returns, special Africans like you should find their roots and be man never again. And I repeat, never again be given that opportunity to commit such atrocities against his fellow human being. On this note, on this note my name is Mark Tete. Nazem Fatou. This is the church, the Anglican church. So remember the danger just beneath this place. The little danger is down here. So they come to church here. They'll pray. But it's a spy who I'm talking about, the spy. The church, the church. Okay, the before, before they go to the church, mm. they will look at it, they will monitor what was going on. At the time they will be praying and preaching their Bible, people will be screaming down here. Okay. But close their ears. Oh my. It's time for you all. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, we are not there yet. Don't lie. Three things. Alright, thank you, my brother. Thank you.